Besides the football game, the halftime show, and this year, of course, Taylor Swift, the biggest buzz around the Super Bowl was always the commercials. On Sunday, the Foundation to Combat Anti-Semitism, founded by New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft, will air a 30-second ad as part of its Stand Up to Jewish Hate campaign. Here's a behind-the-scenes look at the moment Kraft calls Martin Luther King Jr.'s speechwriter, Dr. Clarence Jones, to tell him about their ad, about building bridges to combat hate, and the fact that it will be featured in the Super Bowl. Hello? Is this Dr. Clarence Jones? Yes, who's calling me? This is Robert Kraft. My beloved brother. What a great honor. No, it's my, it's my honor. Well, let me tell you something. We're going to run your ad during the Super Bowl. Oh, you, you know what? You know how to make a 93-year-old man cry. Martin would have loved you. Mm. Absolutely get the chills listening to that. Joining me now from Las Vegas, the site of the Super Bowl, is Robert Kraft. Thank you so much for being here. Real, building bridges to combat hate, that is a big part of what you do. You recently added a $100 million donation to the foundation on top of the millions, of course, that you put in to start it. It's a huge part of your life's work. Walk us through how this Super Bowl ad came to be and how you decided to feature Dr. Jones. Well, we uh, part of the campaign of our foundation is to stop all hate in the country, and it starts with Jewish hate and then leads to every other group. And um, we did a report that showed us that if we created ads that educate most Americans who are great people, that we need them to stand up and not be silent when they see something happening that's inappropriate to any an ethnic group, any religious group, uh, any gender issue, anything. We have to stop hate to keep the foundational values of America strong. And um, when I had had a chance to see, meet Jock, Dr. Jones, uh, we spent about three hours together and I saw the influence that he had on Martin Luther King, who, when I was in my early 20s, I actually heard him give the I Have a Dream speech. And he was so articulate and so good and so such a bridge-building person. I needed, we need more of that today. And one of the things that Dr. Jones said to me when we were in person, he said, I love you, man, because you've chosen to do this. And silence is the biggest enemy of this country right now. And you on your own have chosen to do this. And I said, that's a great message to give to all people mm -hmm. that we have to have them stand you, up and push back on hate. You know, yeah, and your message has always been that hate is hate, whether it's racism against people of color or anti-Semitism. I'm going to ask you, because since the Hamas attack on October 7th, Israel's retaliation, the divide between blacks in America and Jews seems to be wider. Is that another reason for this ad at this time in this venue, the Super Bowl? Definitely. Uh, look, we hope and believe over 200 million people will wind up seeing this in the end. And, you know, what's happened, unfortunately, uh, with this issue uh, with the Hamas attack, it's been turned into something that, um, you know, this is white oppressors at work here. And, you know, 62% of the people who have settled in Israel are people of colors from all over Africa as well as Europe. And uh, it's a haven where people went, where for thousands of years, the history of being in the country, the history is there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Christ was born in Bethlehem 2,023 years ago. And I think social media are putting messaging out there that's just improper. So we have yeah. to correct it. 
Well, uh, I, before I let you go, I, I know you are in Las Vegas uh, for the Super Bowl. My, in my house, you also know that my son is a huge Patriots fan. Um, he's not looking at the yeah. Super Bowl. He's already looking ahead to the next season. I have been instructed by a certain 12-year-old to ask, will you commit to drafting Marvin Harrison Jr.? <laughs> well, he's very wise. <laughs> and uh, we're, for the first time in 31 years, my ownership, we've never drafted as high as number three. And uh, he is definitely uh, the person who, if, if we didn't take a quarterback, he has the highest ratings on him right now. So your son is very <laughs> wise. Uh, but there's a lot that can happen yes. there. But, you, yeah, he's got good. Do whatever <laughs> he's doing on a fantasy basis. He's very smart. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Kraft. And more importantly, thank you so much for everything you do to uh, raise awareness uh, for and, and of hate in this country and try to bridge those divides. Thank well, you so much. You, you know, Dana, we have the greatest country in the world, and we have to keep this fabric yeah. of people from anywhere coming here and living their dream. Amen. And it's going to change if we push back on this hate. Thank you so much. Be well. Have fun tomorrow or Sunday. Thank you. Thank you.